Hang on, let me get this up. So I think I've um, solved the uh, music volume issue that I was having last time and I think I've also solved the um, the issue with the stream. Huh. I'm seeing an extra video there. That's live. Okay, cool. Don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, so uh, last time I was getting uh, issues with the um, stream uh, occasionally freezing up, and okay, I mean, the audio would continue, but the video would freeze up. This is not interesting. Uh, I'm just going to continue with the new game. So, <clears throat> since last time, uh, I've created a, a second character type. I've mostly been using my, my bird character, and that's what I want to continue using today. Um, but I um, didn't make a huge amount of progress. Like I managed to get to level three, which is something, I guess. Um, but I also created this character, which I I don't like a lot. Um, so it has four legs and uh, horns, uh, but also is an albino, which means that it doesn't regenerate health very fast during the day. Um, and in retrospect, that was a really bad idea. So I'm just gonna roll a new character um, with my bird person. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Um, so I've been starting in the desert canyons and not finding that too hard. Um, maybe I should do this though. Yeah, let's start in the salt dunes. Um, It's a type of bird. Alas, I'd make a slumberling divine, for in the dreaming dale art thou yet mine, Willow Shakespeare. I honestly wondered if uh, these quotes were um, kind of procedurally generated, but I think they're preset. There just happens to be quite a lot of them. Um, so on the 12th of Oruux, you arrive in the village of Tapa. Uh, usual stuff. So, okay, I'm at the bottom. <laughs> the Zealot yells, the machine commands that you exercise robots and bring their sacred husks to the six-day stilt. Oh, calm down. Ooh, okay, don't do that. Oh, I bled all over the floor. Shrine to Xerxes, luminous sprout of frogs. The shrine depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient sultan Xerxes. Deep in Alad, Xerxes discovered Kaga Kish. There she befriended cats and calculated the distance to a nearby star. Good. Ooh, that's a um, something something warden uh, pack la la tier. <laughs> this feathered serpent glides upon great leathery wings. The air about her colourful plumage shimmers with heat, and she leaves in her wake a blazing trail. Yeah, I've been killed by these uh, multiple times. Loved by the Fellowship of Wardens, admired by the villagers of Tapa for defending their village, disliked by the villagers of Torkatara for ruining the festival of Utiarux. Okay. Let's talk to you. Um, I'm just going to accept this because she says the same thing every time. 
uh, another shrine, shrine to Xerxes, Luminous Sprout of Frogs. The shrine depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient Sultan Xerxes. In 66, after murdering a popular rival with a dagger made of ruby, Xerxes' counsellors suggested that she take an extended uh, sabbatical. Instead, she murdered each one by trapping her in a meteorite. Good. Let's talk to you. Uh, it's a dawn glider, uh, I remembered. Um, I'll begin the water ritual. Your reputation with the Fellowship of Wardens changed by 100. Uh, because they admire Warden Pact Lath Lathia, your reputation with the village has changed by 100, etc. Okay. Find Nathaman. Um, De Bozia or Castany Facid of the Wards. Oh, excuse me. Actually, what do you have to trade? Oh, these are pilgrims like me. Ah, okay. Mechanimist pilgrim. May the earth yield for us this season at the homestead lies wisdom. So I need to find people. Okay, it's going to be you, isn't it? The village mayor. The pilgrim, the pilgrim wears a costume of humility. Simple frock, wide-brimmed hat, cerulean scarf, slouched back and weary eyes. Uh, loved by the villagers of Tapa, hated by the villagers of Hamrenip, admired by vines prov for providing shelter dur during a glass storm, and admired by villagers of Marquimur for pouring asphalt on one of their enemies. <laughs> Very good. Friend, welcome to the village of Tapa. We are a people who love the practice of butchery and denounce obscenity towards luminous sprout of frogs. Come what may, you may drink of our fresh water and quench your thirst. I will do that. Um, okay. I'll just get a secret, I guess. I always seem to learn the... Um, the local dish and then never actually get around to cooking it because I don't know what's in it. Okay, Nomad, are you acquainted with the Butcherian stool at the lair of Eorith Eorithathus, legendary glowfish? It is a sacred relic to us. Often we make pilgrimages to sit on it and contemplate luminous sprout of frogs. It would honour us if you would do the same, will you? We will reward your labour. Yes, I will sit on the butcherian stool as you ask. Um, where is that? Drifter, have you been introduced to the, force po <laughs> the four poster bed of the Corexi like midnight at the lair of Asarnas Larduima, legendary glowfish? That's two legendary glowfishes. Um, it is a venerable altar to us. Often we make pilgrimages to sleep in it and contemplate the practice of butchery. It would honor us if you would do it too. What do you say? We will reward your services. Yes, I will do it. Got sixty one dollars of water. Uh, so I feel like these are all fairly close to where I am. Oh, okay. Well, I can make my way over there easily enough. Um, Merchant. 
Um, so this character always starts with a terrible weapon, um, so I feel like it's useful to buy a new one. Um, yeah. Hmm. Funny I could afford this. Uh, what is it? That looks useful. Uh, I would actually like that. I could sell a load of torches, I guess. I need ten dollars out of somewhere. Oh, okay, no, I don't have nearly enough for that. Alright, well, I'll try just hitting things with a staff for the time being. It's a stool. This shrine depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient sultan. In 80 Xerxes won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Tuna at the bloody battle of Milep, though she lost her prized Shining Bliss frog spoon during the course of the conflict. As a result of the battle, Milep was so evaporated of all moisture that it was renamed the Briny Wastes. Ooh, I got a, qu a quest. Pray. You voice a short prayer beneath the shrine. Okay, I discovered the Tapa Tetrahedron. Just occurred to me that I had the mouse sitting in the centre of the screen, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Need to remember to not do that. Um. Useful door. <coughs> I often feel like the uh, procedural generation in this goes awry. Oh, I'm as far. I forgot. I need to go north, not south. telepathy to talk to this person. <laughs> that was worth it. Here is there. Huh. Oh. Hello, Dramas. Great salt back. Words fail to contain the paradox of this is domesticated immensity. Drifts on the cultural seas have swept a particular fable to your attention. Long away, uh, long ago, far away, folks supposed all of everything rested on the back of a world tortoise. 
So really that flight of fancy came to someone gazing on a great salt pack. Or does your own vision echo through the past to partake in this creation? I mean, it probably doesn't. Okay, so you're the one I want to talk to. What kind of creature are you? Okay. Um... be a very good weapon to have, I think. Or the utility knife. I need to fight something, basically. Okay, who are you? I wonder if I can get his attention using telepathy. kill him before they reach. I think I can. He is not very good. Okay, good. Oh, ten experience. Okay. Um oh, didn't mean to do that. annoying. So, so I have a thing that I can't even equip because I have wings. Oh, uh, right, well I guess I'm selling that then. And I'll sell these two. not a useful spell, is it? So I've gone into that vortex before uh, and I ended up at like, the bottom of a dungeon and I immediately got fried by a, a dawn glider. Oh, I think that happened in the, the last stream, didn't it? Or, no, actually, it was, it was after the stream. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um,
This item is engraved with a scene from the life of the ancient Sultan Zermed. At the Battle of Kawan Moros, Zermed fought as a mercenary to subjugate water barons. She wielded a boundless sword with such artistry that it became forever known as Boundlessica, the bane of the water barons. Huh. Plus 40 reputation with a brood of the wife of Sindanticura, legendary sewage eel. Take that. experience points so far. Huh. Oh, it's dusk. So my um, my visibility is shrinking. Um, I'll talk to you. I want to sell you some rubbish. Why did I run towards them? <laughs> So let's go strength and toughness, and then guess we'll do that. I think multiple arms is a good thing to go for if I'm strength and combat based. Can I wear gloves? remaining.
Oh, right. Yes. Don't want any of these. <laughs> like, amnesia sounds like the worst. I think I'll give myself plant abilities. go with that. Um, oh, I don't know. Let's just have one chosen for me. Black devils swing from starry masts beneath the yawning moon. Fuming gods see shanty. On the 8th of Schwartox, you arrive at the village of Narach. The Sachari nomad stands shrouded in robes, tattered and sun bleached, a kofea wrapped around his neck and face protect against poison salt. Okay. Let's talk to you. Moss stuff inserts itself into the story world it evoked into being by the carved rock. This object is a monument to the scene, to a scene from the history of the village Narak. The profanity of Koxahim was revealed to the people of Narak through attacking poetry. Okay. Um, early in 918, Holak Tol. A cattle, sorry, uh, grew tired of swallowing insects and boys to a place buried under the, the crescent dunes, 
There she came upon Narak and its inhabitants, while her cattle settled down among the villagers. Okay, good. Shrine to Hoxha him. Oh, that's desecrated. The shrine depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient Sultan Hoxha him. In 29, a corrupt administrator was appointed minister of the soldiers' province of Haba. He outlawed the practice of taking measurements, and Hoxha him was forced to flee. <laughs> On account of how much Hoxha him enjoyed measuring things. Drinks in quick salt. Welcome to the village of Narak, Wanderer. Here you will find shade and victual along with other provisions to help you better, this, better scour the rust caves for treasure. Come what may, you may drink of our fresh water and quench your thirst. Shoemaker. Oops. I bow down to the rescued altar that you are here, friend. I could use you for an errand. A short while ago I voyaged to Mimrod Quincunks and lost a Hulakatl like law enforcement security card. To inspire my art, I would love to procure it. Acquire it and I'll compensate you for your service. your card uh -huh. huh it's full of cattle I thought all the cattle was the stuff of legends. Early in 918. So what year is it now then? I still don't know how much distance of Parasang is. Travelling claimants came to our village the other day. While breaking bread, they spoke of an interesting place, some flattened remains, but they wouldn't reveal the location. Will you find it for us? It would be a great grant to the monetary prospects of our village. We will pay you for your assistance. We hear it's lo located somewhere between three and seven parasangs west of some forgotten ruins. That's pretty vague. Okay, I guess I'm doing that. Hmm. Um, so, where do I want? 
to go. go there and also there. Okay, so west and south, or east and south, seems to be the best place to start. I mean, does it make sense for me to just do this? Yeah? <laughs> you discovered 12th Spade Nimrod. You know the location of 12th Spade Nimrod in the ruins section of your journal. Him. Somewhere in the astrologist's province of Alana, Coxahim met a computerized version of himself. For the rest of Coxahim's life, he always kept some batteries hidden on his person. <laughs> That's good. Right, this is a circular tower that I need to find a way into. The shrine depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient Sultan Khoksahim. In 29, a corrupt administrator was appointed minister of the soldier's province of Hava. He outlawed the practice of taking measurements. Oh, I feel like... yeah, I know that. Oh. Wait, what? How did I get out here? Yonder brush. Rather than spend its enemy energy growing resilient trampling, this grass takes more offensive approach to groundskeeping. Huh. Okay. Kudzu. This plant's plant is a densely twisted mat of metallic fibers and long billowing red fronds, which Wave gently towards you on an unfent breeze. So I guess I can like this. Oh, right. Hmm. I can't light it. That's a good 
bit of armor. Oh, it's got water on it. The suit is made of extremely durable rubbery dark material. It is lined with small pouches which slowly filter water that a suit collects from your sweaty overworked body. Good. So I'm wearing goggles. Ah, I've got extra arms. <laughs> That's good. Chrome brass rings and swords of leather are precisely cut from a tinker's stencil. But the real signature is on the glass. A scatter of speck-sized fractures from the high salt gales. So the amount of damage that I'm doing here is considerably higher than I've done in the past. I could probably just um, make a campfire here and cook something just from any old crap. You gather whatever you can find, a rescue dogthorn leaf, a croc's right front 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 foot, and a sprinkle of dragonfly dragonfly thorax. Can't speak. That's a good meal. Oh, there's asphalt. Oh, there's a crocodile up there. Ow. Croc hits for five damage, croc hits for one damage. Oh, so I am quite close, I guess. Might just... Um, so I might leave it here, in that case. Um, yeah. And come back to it another day. Um, so... Okay, bye.